Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Sagittarius placements in your chart. So if you have Sagittarius anywhere within your chart, this reading can resonate with you. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olo Dumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Egun Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florian Williams, Norman Williams, Exius Willie, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Sagittarius placements in their chart. Okay, guys, let's jump into your spread, all right? So um, at the top and bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups and the Page of Cups, okay? That's that intuition and that um, dreaming and psychic ability that's been coming up a lot for you guys. So um, some of you guys in the uh, comments of the last video were talking about uh, all of the dreams and different things that have been happening. Some of you guys have been having various dreams. Um, and Domo, Domo say what? She told me, um, I told you, you know, I commented on your post and I told you that I would share the dream that I had concerning aliens because um, she stated she had a dream that she was hunting aliens with her friends. And um, it says, all of my exes were helping me uh, through a headset that I was wearing. Then at the end of the dream, I saw a spaceship leaving, uh, but the scene was exactly like the Hierophant card in one of my decks, okay? And you said it absolutely made, this. she said, this shit makes no sense and I've been trying to decode it ever since. Okay, so, um, it's so crazy that you had that dream. So a couple months back, I had a dream that, uh, I was walking into a conference room and, um, there were tables like in a circle, um, like long rectangles, but in a, you know, sort of a circular rectangle way. Um, and everybody that was walking around had an alien head, like an alien mask on. Right. And, um, I just kept looking like, okay, like, you know, I did, I didn't get the memo that we're all wearing alien masks. So, uh, in the middle of the room, I see a bunch of alien heads. They're all masks. And I, and I walk over to the middle and I'm trying to figure out, um, which one fits me? Like, where do I belong? Which mask is the best mask for me? And I'm putting on different masks and I, masks. And I finally, um, grab one that I like and I put it on, but I noticed that um, I can't breathe in the mask, right? So then it fit me, but I, I was uncomfortable in it. And then I took it off and then went about going around the conference room. The thing that I got from that um, was that, and it's, I feel like it's the same thing that you, you're getting, is that all of us who uh, feel like you're a star seed or um, different, I think are at some point going to convene, all right? I don't know if it's gonna be like a mass convening or um, uh, you just convene with the people in your area or what it will be, but I think there's gonna be a coming together because the I was telling you and when I responded back to your post that I had a client um, uh, who had said that she had a similar dream that she was in a high rise and I think she said she was in a conference room as well and that um, there were a bunch of beings of light, like a bunch of light beings coming together. And I can't remember the um, specifics of her dream, but it was it was similar to what I had dreamt, except mine were aliens, hers was light, and you were hunting for aliens with friends. And I believe the friends are, you're hunting for your group is really what it's telling you. And then when you said the thing about uh, the exes were your, uh, like guide basically talking through the headset is I think it's those are the lessons that are pushing you towards that have pushed you to this point of your awakening of finding your tribe. It was your exes that led you to your tribe to know that I'm not the one for you. These people you're looking for are for you. So that's what I think that that meant in the dream. But I feel like all of us could be having dreams about us coming together or finding um, our tribe. OK, and I, I think it's going to start happening next year. I just got done with a personal reading um, from 2022 to 2024 is going to be a real, a really critical time um, for growth, for a lot of growth. 
and and for you to have wins like actual successes but literally every success is like a setup for the next success and the next one it's just supposed to be a continuation for you after that so take advantage of these next two years coming up guys this is why you have this queen of cups page of cups energy okay because you literally are being guided to the right thing for you um, and being warned. I've been warned in dreams plenty of times, okay? And that's kind of what this reading is about today. All right, guys? Because um, there's something strong, like a strong temptation is going to come back. A very strong temptation. And, and it could even be exes, okay? Uh, for some of you. Because the first card out is the Eight of Cups in the reverse. And then we have the Eight of Wands in the reverse next to it. And then the Ten of Wands and the six of pentacles, okay? Now, let's just go through these real quick. These two, something you've walked away from or could have walked away from you wants to return, possibly a person um, or a habit, a person or a habit, but it's coming really, really strong and fast, but it's coming to cause some form of delay. It is coming to actually delay you and slow you down. But I, I'm just trying to stress this because I know um, I feel like this is for those of you who have been like doing your own thing and, um, you know, really trying to just be, you know, keep up with yourself. And then all of a sudden there's something that's going to come back. But this time it comes back with a strength. All right. But this is something when it comes back, it is trying to come back to stay. It's trying to come back to where you can't get rid of me. So really, um. I'm ten of wands like lay down on you be a burden on you ten of wands feels like a couple things to me because um in the upright it's the it's the only other upright card in the row with the six of pentacles six of pentacles is your uh at the end of the row is your blessing you guys are about to receive a blessing okay it, it could be coming um some of this stuff could be coming now in this month, but there are other blessings that you guys are going to receive. When you get a six, that's that's some equal. It's like equal give and take something you deserve could have to do with money or love. But it's what you are expected to receive, like what you're supposed to get It's what you're supposed to get. And the thing is, is that the Ten of Wands also tells me like getting this thing felt hard. The only reason why it feels hard is because I sacrifice something. Like, I have to sacrifice this thing. Like, that's the only way I get it, by giving something up. And I I want to, from the energy I feel, it's like sometimes I want to pick the thing back up. Okay? The Ten of Wands is giving me that monkey on my back kind of thing. Right? So, what I want to tell you is, is be careful because uh, if you accept the monkey back, you know, um, you're going to be way down, way down. You won't be able to get up out that chair. And, you know, you don't want to sacrifice what you're getting. These are tests that some of us um, can't avoid. But when this test comes back, it's going to be a big one because I think um, the person or the habit, whatever it is, possibly a person may be a little relentless, you know, may try more than once, even though you say no. Um, so be careful not to give in because you, you're about to get something and you've been working on something, trying to manifest a particular thing and it's going to come. It has required sacrifice from you, um, and patience, a whole lot of patience. The thing is, guys, uh, these awakenings we're going through, these spiritual awakenings, there's nothing easy about it like at all. I'm literally going through the same energy right now. Today, if it wasn't for uh, my nine o'clock appointment, I would have made a big mistake. So like, I think two readings ago, I was telling you guys about, um, you know, the guy that had called me and then I was getting all flustered. Well, he called again this morning and, you know, we was basically dirty talking and all that kind of stuff. And I woke up really feeling like, I don't care. I don't care. And what was my saving grace was my nine o'clock appointment, which I did not have before I went to bed. Either the person um, scheduled it this morning or did it sometime at night when I was asleep. 
But thank you, God. And thank you. I really did. If you are watching, I enjoyed uh, your reading this morning. I had an extra boost of energy after that. Your energy was great. Thank you. But, and thank you for preventing me from doing something wrong. Because um, this is, for me, that's what it is. It's giving, I have to sacrifice casual hookups. That's what I have to sacrifice. And it's not like um, it's been a hard thing to do. It was only been really hard around these eclipses for me. The, the uh, partial lunar eclipse, it was extremely hard. My rising sign is in Taurus. And uh, the, the full moon was in Taurus. So I was feeling all kinds of indulgent. And then um, this solar eclipse that happened, the energy hit me like that again, right? So, you know, I've been dodging this, but at the same time, really wanting to give in. And the reason why is, is that I haven't really, I haven't engaged anybody except for, you know, phone calls, talking dirty, um, in a sexual way, right? And um, I'm like, okay, cool. Well, I get past that all the time. You know, as long as I don't reach out, you know, I'm okay. But I guess I didn't, you know, take into consideration that, you know, somebody could reach out to you and, you know, you could end up getting tempted, you know? And it lately, I'm like, yo, I cannot be in this, um, well, fuck it, let's just try because I can prolong how long it takes to, for me to get my blessing, right? And it's not like, it's not that I don't want to, I want a committed relationship just as much as the next person. All right. I want uh, my own husband. I want a faithful partner. I want those things. I want a family and all of that. But I know that it's going to come in time and that I'm not on my own time. I'm on divine timing. But divine timing is divine timing. Right. So sometimes your logical self would be like, um, well, if I got to wait, what is it if I just do this one time? Because I bet even after I do it, I'm still not going to see my manifestation. And don't, please, don't act like that has not happened for you. You know, because I know more than once in my, in going through this, I was like, man, I could have gave in to so-and-so back then, and so-and-so back then, and so-and-so. Because even now, I'm not dating anybody. Like, who, and I have had people who um wanted to date, you know, but I just didn't think that it was the right fit, right? So, all of this is happening where I'm being tested on the casual end. I'm being tested. Can you discern who is your right partner? And it's just like, well, okay, cool. I'm really to the point where work is my main focus and I'm doing that. But if I go back to my past of uh, as long as work is okay and I feel like I'm not going to have a, a, a solid, stable relationship. So I'm comfortable with the casual thing. That's where I'm going to stay. That's where I'm going to stay. So I know that, you know, from the dreams I've had and I've shared with you guys and from um, just different things that I know my ancestors are showing me that my life is in the midst of change. I'm going to meet my divine partner, but that kind of behavior keeps me away from my divine partner. Right. And um, I forget. I forget. So thank God that my guides, um, along with anybody else's guides, comes together to uh prevent me from doing something when I'm not thinking in my right mind because you know so much time goes by Th these awakenings take their time they take their time and and I don't want you guys to uh be overcome by the strength of something you've walked away from because eight of cups tells me you enjoyed it you enjoyed it okay and you but you knew it was you know somehow wrong or you tearing you down or just not fruitful, right? And really, that's what it was for me. You know, having a bunch of casual sex does not build anything with anybody. But I really was okay with it because I really felt like, well, when am I going to have a, a real relationship with anybody? That seems like a fairy tale, you know? But it's not. It's not. It's just a, a cycle. And that's what's happening right now. You're closing out cycles, some cycles that have gone, you know, repeated themselves over and over again. You're closing it out. Uh, but the thing is, the reason why you need to be aware of this, whether it's something sexual or not, is because you are coming up as the king of wands. So that is very attractive. You're coming up very, very attractive. So you got to be uh, leery of going back to the past because the past truly wants to come back to you. Definitely. Um, in your second row. 
You have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. You have the Death card in the reverse. You have the Four of Swords in the reverse. And then the King of Wands in the upright. This is the supporting energy. You know, just because you are, um, you know, just because somebody wants to tempt you doesn't mean um, that you can't be you, you know. And by that, I mean, it's like, don't dull down or dumb yourself down. Not even dumb yourself down, but like, you know, um, if, you, if you're feeling attractive, if you're feeling, um, I don't know, flirty, I guess there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're not giving into um, something that is like not for you. You know, I, I want you to keep your liveliness, your bubbliness, your um, socialness, if that's how you're feeling right now. But the problem is, is that uh, sometimes if we get too wrapped up in ourselves or how our ego is going, uh, we can actually go into a dead space. OK, because um, the death card is saying here, hold on, because I had to get it down. Death card wants you to um, honor your time. And not to spend uh, your time where dead things hang around. All right. That could be uh, like old co-workers, old relationships, just anything or old habits where people do an old habit. That's it's a dead thing. Don't resuscitate that dead thing. Leave dead things dead. There's a strong death here. OK, because death is sitting next to four of uh, swords in reverse right on top of a coffin. Right. Um, also, some of you guys uh, on another level, there could be a masculine, um, whether it be a father, grandfather, masculine figure, because um, it could be a woman with a lot of masculine energy. They, If they are sick, they're going to be passing soon, okay? That's what Death and Four of Swords is saying, definitely with Death sitting over Chariot in reverse. Um, but the other thing about Death sitting over Chariot in reverse, which I've mentioned before, is a soldier dying in battle. Remember, you are that soldier. And what could be dying could be um, your manifestation if you go back to the old. So don't let your manifestations die. Because I could feel that, first of all, Magician is uh, in reverse as the last card out. But this is the growth. King of Pentacles in reverse. The mastery. This is growth. It's mastery. Right? Sitting next to death. Don't waste that. Don't waste the growth you've already made. See, because that's what I was about to do, just out of a feeling, all of the growth you made, you know, um, man, instead, you got to remember, tru truly try to remember, like, um, sorry, guys, hold on, that uh, I am coming out of a cycle, I'm manifesting, things take time, because it's easy to forget when you get caught up in your own day-to-day -day stuff, you know, that like, oh, if I go back to doing that, I'm, I'm actually placing myself in a really bad position, you know, like I'm still manifesting and I'm still being tested. OK. Um, yeah, man, definitely. Because your last row feels like that because uh, Empress next to Chariot could talk about promiscuity or not being able to control sexual desires. Um, Ten of Cups is somebody lying to you. And I really do feel like uh, someone could come around and actually try to um, say like they want a relationship. They truly love you. They're, they really just want to say whatever makes you happy. They want to say whatever makes you happy. Um, but it's, it's a manipulation with Magician in Reverse. Magician in Reverse is also saying your manifestation could easily get killed by this. Like this could kill it. This is a critical time. And you want to know why? I'm trying to tell you, whatever is coming wants to stay. Like, it is going to try to stay. It, it wants you to be the old you. Do not be the old you. I mean, literally, your intuition is so strong right now. I know you are picking up these messages. Queen of Cups, bottom, page of Cups at the top. All right. Yeah, right. Because on your mind, what your guides are trying to direct you to is is for you to be able to be happy for you to have satisfaction that's what they want you to have but what does that take hangman sacrifice it takes a sacrifice for the happiness you're looking for you still have to sacrifice page of cups your intuition is trying to expand you and grow you more ventures okay more opportunities definitely 
The Three of Wands also talks about patience. Okay? So um, there is a blessing that you are manifesting. Definitely manifesting a real blessing. And, and um, the other thing the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands is telling me uh, in your second row is like, I'm trying to tell you guys, it's time to start the next thing for some of you. You know, you got one thing going. It is A-OK -okay to start your new thing because the King of Pentacles is saying um, plant, nurture, cultivate it, plant another seed, nurture it, cultivate it, plant another seed. So it's like continuously um, set new heights for yourself. OK, um, that's where you should be. That should be the goal that will keep you out of trouble. It planting new seeds and nurturing and cultivating those seeds will keep you out of trouble because something, I mean, really, really strong with this eight of cups in reverse, um, eight of uh, wands in reverse, really is trying to stop. I think wealth for you, 88 is a wealthy number. Mm, yeah, guys. Do not uh, let your manifestations die. Don't do that. Don't do it. Something really is coming. It is coming. And I just want you to be prepared. But so do your ancestors. You're probably getting dreams about that as well. Um, that is what I have for you. I'm trying to think if there's anything else on here that I could have been missing. And I don't think so. Um, if uh, this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to book is in the description box below. Um, if you would like to book a 30 minute recorded reading, go ahead and email me your name and date of birth. Um, and after you pay using Cash App, Venmo or PayPal, I will email you a link back to your reading. OK, guys, uh, the Patreon playlist is in the description box below. The next group reading uh, will be on December 15th at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you want to be a part of that group reading, please join Patreon because that is where the Zoom link will be. Um, also, and I've mentioned before, for my patrons, uh, one hour readings are half price for you. OK, for my active patrons, there's also um, updated discounted prices on the one hour reading for you guys. Check those out in the description box. So that is what I have for you. Okay, guys. Uh, all right. I'll see you later.